The Jigsaw Strategy is a cooperative learning strategy that helps children with their reading comprehension. It's a multi-step strategy that involves the use of home groups and expert groups. Before we jump into the classroom though, let's break down all the steps involved. First, students start in their home groups. Each student has a different text, but all readings are related to the same main topic, for example, gardening. Next, they move off to their expert groups, which bring together students reading about the same subtopic. So every student studying vegetables would be in the same expert group. By discussing the subtopic together, they can become experts in it. Finally, the expert groups break apart and the students return to their home groups. Now, each of the students is an expert in one area of the main topic, and they can share that information with the students in their home groups. In essence, each student has become a piece of the puzzle, and when they come together, they help each other form the big picture. Now that we've seen the graphic the representation, Again, let's watch Kathy Doyle and her students put the strategy Chloe into action. I want to know what you remember about the jigsaw strategy. Keith? We, uh went to a different home groups. And then you remember moving your body to another table. Does anyone remember when you got to that other table and you met with other kids who all read the same thing that you read? What was that group called? Deja? It was called an expert group. An expert group. When you're done with your discussion at your expert group, it's time for you and your expert friends to go ahead and figure out what was the main idea of what I read? What are some of the details that I want to report back to my home group? So together you're going to fill out um, a graphic organizer kind of like this. So you guys will all have your own because you will eventually leave that expert group and go off to report to your home group. So the first thing I'm going to give you is a clipboard. So when I call your name and I tell you where you're headed, I'm going to give you four clipboards and they're all ready to go. You are going to use your new text that I'm giving you. There are directions on here if you forget what you're supposed to be doing. It's now time to head off to the home group groups. Box. Let's follow Maya, who's going to become the herb expert in her group. And I would like the story too. In the home groups, each student reads an appropriately leveled text about a different subtopic of gardening, jotting down notes as they go. Maya will cover herbs, Savion will study flowers, and Moya will learn about vegetables. Kathy keeps an eye on kids as they work to make sure they understand the assignment and stay on track. So tell me, what did you learn so far? Did you read the first page yet? Yeah. What did you learn on this first page? I learned on this first page the per first page mm -hmm. that um, they use herbs to put spice in food and cook So it. herbs, they're actually called herbs. They use herbs to put spices in food. Why don't you jot that down? Did Next, you know what the students are before? off to their expert you groups. There, yeah, Maya will get to talk shop with the other students studying food, herbs. It is time to move to expert groups. So I am going to say a number, because your expert group is a number. Look at the text you are reading, and if you are, if that text says number one, I want you to move here. Look how quickly Moya moved. I love it. And we're off again. In the expert group, the students will ask each other questions and pull out facts from their reading. Most herbs are easy to grow. I learned that sometimes they need water every day. I learned that gardeners plant herbs outside. Herbs are putting food to spice things up. Let's start working on this. After discussing the topic, students decide what key facts they will report back to their home groups. Kathy has idea. the kids Especially use graphic organizers to help okay. them arrange and, and remember the information. If that's your main idea, what are some special things about herbs? Do you know? I'll give you a minute to write it down. Well, each of us could use one of um, one of the things off of our well, our the book. facts that you yeah, wrote down. You're right. That's facts. A, that's true. Each of you could use one of the facts. So, do you want to share one, Maya? What's your fact? Well, my fact, I would put down pod plants dry out faster than outside gardens. 
Okay, what about you? What is, what, is, what are one of the details you'd like to put about that's special about herbs? They need very little care. That is special. Once their organizers are complete, partner, the students are ready to return to their home groups to report. So the best part of Jigsaw, when we get to come back home as an expert reporter and report to our group all that we know. So it's time to do this. I want to remind you that it is your job to actively listen to everyone who reports. Antonio, because I'm actually going to ask you, what did you learn from Virginia? What did you learn from Moya? I want you to go back home and bring with you the, the graphic organizer. It's like a poster that will help you report to your group. Green group, go back home. As the final step in Jigsaw, each student teaches the other in their home group about the subtopic they researched. So Maya shares what she's learned about herbs. Cooks use herbs to put spices on food. And the others teach her about growing flowers. It takes over a week to grow flowers. And gardening with vegetables. You can grow lettuce, spinach, and tomatoes in your house. As a wrap-up, Kathy has the whole class come together and share what they've learned from each other. It's time to move to the carpet in the front to share. Okay? So I'm asking you to move. You don't need to bring anything. Just bring yourselves and all your new knowledge is up here. Okay? It's all up here, so you only need yourselves. I really want you to think about what happened in that home group at the end and think who taught me something because this time I don't want you to tell me something you read I want you to tell me about something you learned from a reporter friend in growing herbs I overheard Isaac say that herbs don't really need much care okay so under growing herbs in this learning community, you heard so much teaching going on. Even though he wasn't her. in my group. He wasn't even in your group and you learned something. Herbs don't need much <coughs> care. <coughs> she even credits Isaac for that bop, bop, fact. Bop. Antonio? Other gardeners plant flowers for to feed butterflies, birds, and so bees. So flow flowers are sometimes planted to feed. Tell me the difference between annuals and perennials. Did anyone learn about annuals and perennials? Annuals stay for one year and perennials <coughs> stay for more than one year. Excellent. Deja. When I was reading my book, Growing Vegetables, <coughs> they said on one of the um, pages, they said most, some gardeners say if you grow in your own backyard, it has a better taste. Jigsaw supports students' comprehension and their skills in working together, but it's not without its cost. Jigsaw requires a lot of advanced planning and organization. You saw Ms. Doyle use colors and numbers to help her students navigate themselves around the classroom. She also had to think pretty carefully about the groups that she formed, for their expert groups, but also for their home groups. Teachers could make use of parent volunteers or instructional assistants to help work with each small group, and teachers should also think pretty carefully about the reading material that's assigned to each group. Last, you'll want to find a meaningful way for students to pull together all the information they learn from all the experts. One of the main benefits of Jigsaw, however, is that every student is accountable for their work. As an expert, they're accountable by sitting in their small groups and participating in that reading. And then back in the home group, every student is accountable because they're the expert on the material. It's something I think you'll find your students really enjoy.